sunset over Loon Lake. June 1st, and I'm starting out my hike. This is Loon Lake. I am looking west. Down there is Spider Lake. Buck Island Lake. There it is looking north and this is the first view of Rockbound Lake. This is the creek that lets out all the water from Highland Lake which I'm not going to encounter on this trip and this will be the first river crossing where I need to put on water shoes. Here's the outlet to the Rubicon Reservoir. Now we go see what the reservoir looks like. Thought it would be just around the corner. Aha! Which is Onion flat. So that is where I am right now. It seems like there's some good spots to camp nearby. And there's some goose on the other side of the lake and I've been hearing a sage grouse as I've been eating my lunch. The wind's picking up a little bit and the sky has gotten very dark in the last like 20 minutes and I do have the weather forecast and it did say on Monday that some rain was possible. 3.15, made camp early. Very glad I did. Nice to not be wet. Survived the rainstorm. Like an hour and a half long. I've never been checked out so intensely while I'm pooping before. The Alpine Garfield, or the Mini Bear, as often known in colloquial terms, is often summoned from the depths of the deep rocks by the sound. 
to the Garfield, it indicates that there are treats inside the plastic. Little does this one know, this one harbors waste paper. He's made the right decision in retreating. Boil on some water for dinner. It's 5.30 and the rain restarted. But I'm staying outside for this one. I want to eat dinner, so I'll just got to put up with it. So the peaks off to the right, they, the, the closest one to us is about 7,800 feet, and then they ascend until the very far back one, which is 9,000 feet. Far back one has a name, but I forget it. So that's what that looks like. And then all the peaks in the middle here range between 8,000 and 9,000 feet. Most of them are 9,000. Six peak in the middle is uh, very high 9,000. But then there's middle peak over there, over to the left, and that is at 8,300 feet. And it's not really that snowy at all, so it just really depends, I guess. <laughs> this side of the creek and just walk on the rocks and see what it's like because I don't know why not it's 7 30 and I got nothing else to do I'm sorry I'm not over it yet taking so many videos of this how the hell does anyone cross this I mean does it chill out all those rocks are super cool I think whoever decided that you should cross there is kind of nuts it only came here one time Ugh. this place needs a bridge I'm amazed and humbled and awed and inspired by this river though. This is gorgeous. I can hang out here all day just watching it. So, hiking along. Haven't crossed the river or anything, um, but I am seeing like one or two cairns. All right, I am 0.2 miles off trail upstream. I'm just still following the Rubicon. This is the crossing of the Lake Zatella outlet, which, I mean, I'm going to take my shoes off and that'd be fine. The next one, though, and the last one I need to cross before the river, the trail comes back to this side of the Rubicon River, is this outlet, and that's the Horseshoe Lake outlet. And then if I'm able to do that, the next off-trail thing is walking past this feature. Alrighty, I'm closer now. And uh, my, my odds of safely crossing look pretty slim. 
but it's beautiful. And it's good to get a good look at these kinds of things. Looks like this is as far as I'm getting to at least that Horseshoe Lake outlet. There's brush as far as the eye can see. And I just don't feel like getting chopped up. Especially since I've already been walking through it. So thinking about having to backtrack. I just, I just don't wanna. That's just, just not what I'm in for today. No. So here is what I have learned. So right, this is where I started. Loon Lake. Followed the Con Trail yesterday. I camped last night at Rubicon Reservoir. And then this morning, I was walking up along the Rubicon River. I got here and went, ah! So, instead of crossing, I stayed on this side. And I crossed this drainage, like Zatella drainage. Um, and then now I'm about right here, which is the drainage for Horseshoe Lake. It gets steeper on the sides here. I'll have that. And then that's not the end, like I end up crossing another drainage here, like Lois, another drainage there. I'm gonna cross the Rubicon there again, and again, and again. Um, I was considering maybe hiking up. Let's see, where are we? Hiking just cross country, just to follow all the way up to Horseshoe Lake and then pick up this trail. But that's counting on this inlet not being bad counting on <laughs> these peaks that I clearly saw yesterday be covered with snow, um, not retaining snow lower down in their slopes. It just feels like a lot of like picking my way through and then I have to pick my way back, which doesn't sound as much fun to me. I kind of just want to walk. <laughs> For fun, I thought I'd just check out below that Horseshoe Lake outlet just to see, you know, maybe. But still have to cross that and it maybe doesn't look rapidy but it is very deep and very fast and it's all that water just in a more disguised format. Ponderous pines. And the trail. I didn't see this the first time through because you can only see it if you look this way. It's Fox Lake. Ooh, you can hear the inlet.
to show you something real quick. This is, I don't know, maybe like a quarter of a mile, a third of a mile from Buck Lake, downhill of it. And I saw this waterfall looking thing and looked it up. That is the inlet to Spider Lake. Which is Hello again, Boone Lake. So here's one of the pleasant campground sites. Just a feel. Two picnic tables. Bourbon. Barbecue. I just want to take a moment to admire how big this tree is. This is Loon Lake, but from the opposite shore. Taking a look at all of the things that I walked past earlier today. Brown Mountain is the obvious one and Tell is, Tell's Peak is behind it. And then this trail is actually the Rubicon Duke Trail. You can see all the vehicles staged down there. This is Stumpy Meadows Reservoir. 